Okay, okay, okay. It's Head. What's up? Corn Zone in Poland. How you guys doing? I got your questions. It took me a while, but hey. Busy man. Busy man. So, let's do this. And I've been growing so much, just going through so many changes. And uh, I, so many times I took this project and I put it on the shelf and I was like, I can't deal with this right now because my, I just was going crazy a little bit with my emotions after the drugs and everything, you know? So it's really cool to, to be at peace now with my life and my emotions and my mind and being able to, um, to put it out, you know? So I'm really, I'm really pleased to, uh, to let everybody hear it, you know? Uh, it's tuned the same, you know, obviously you can hear the sound, uh, it's similar to the corn, the lowness of the corn guitars. I just wanted to try something different. I, I decided to, um, the, to use a baritone six string guitar, which like I just said uh, a second ago that it's tuned down like the seven string. So it's got that really low crunchy thing. So, um, I wanted to try something new and I used a, a, a high bass string for the top string just to get it to be really stiff and so it can stay in tune real good and uh, I came up with a fat sound you know I just want to try something new yes the whole album is guitars there's some synthesizers in there but it's just it's a meaty metal album so all the way bro um like I said, I've been saying a lot that uh, I love those guys and, and, I, and I miss them and everything, but just to hang around with people that I did drugs and drank with for years and years and years makes me feel kind of uncomfortable. So um, not not in, not in the, any time in the near future, you know, but, you know, maybe later on. Yes, I just shot the music video. It's crazy. Um, there's chains, there's straight jackets, there's um, gory stuff, there's uh, just real stuff about uh, real life addicts telling their stories. It's pretty cool. Um, I'm waiting to get it all put together so I can see the, the final cut and then uh, you'll get to see it next. That's what the hang-up is right now as far as, you know, getting that stuff, getting the tour together because I need a good nanny to go with me. And I'm going to have to homeschool my kid to take her on the road. And I got a lot of stuff to work out. So when it gets worked out, it's going to get worked out. And uh, I like to bring a lot of guitar players because there's a lot of guitars. I like to bring at least two rhythm players and um, a lead player and then along with me to do some leads because some songs are just so hard to play, I'm just going to be singing on them so uh we'll see what happens man but uh organized religion ain't into it i don't i don't even like going to sunday church every morning a lot of people do and i do go sometimes but i just i like to i like to encourage people that there's so many people that are like they act one way during the week and then they go to church with their family on Sunday, you know, and and it's just like, what was the point? And I just want to encourage people to, to to have an everyday walk, an intimate walk with Christ and God and stuff. And uh, you know, I just I'm not into organized religion. I just I don't like it. But uh, the people, I got nothing against the people. It's just the act of it. You know what I mean? Harper Collins, the book publisher, came up with the idea. They wanted to reach kids. And it's cool with me because I want to speak to kids too. But they took out just like the, there's a couple F-bombs in there. They took out the, uh, some of the stories of me beating my wife or whatever with a skateboard and, and uh, the sex or whatever I talked about. And just, you know, like my 10-year-old daughter, I don't, I don't want to read that stuff yet. So it's good for that. But um, as far as the, I didn't want to have a new name. I could have just called it Save Me For Myself, Young Adult Virgin, because now i got to go out there and explain to everybody, you know, wash my blood. It's not, it's Save Me, you know, it's just confusing, and I didn't like that, but the, 
I kind of lost to the uh, book publishers or whatever, or they talked me into it, and it's all good though, you know. I didn't even know that was out, man. I'm gonna go get it. I'm gonna go research it. Maybe it's out. No, I'll do it after this. Okay, uh, yeah, I'll read that. Heck yeah. Um, there's a lot of meanings. You know, there's... I got. I also got this after I became a Christian. And that's the uh, Untouchables album of Korn right there. And that just, to me, symbolizes just uh, misfits and uh, abused children and stuff. And um, Adonai means my master for God. You know, drugs used to be my master. Now it's God. And uh, there's my daughter right there. Jesus on top of her. Um, Shabamba. That sucker right there. These are cool too. The kids up there, and uh, a cross and a dove, Abba Father, Galatians 2.20, I've been crucified with Christ, and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me, um, they mean a lot, you know, it's uh, Philippians, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, that's a scripture that helped me uh, throw away my drugs when I found them, about a couple months after I left porn, so, uh, yeah. Um, I'm good, I could... I can go. I could go back around that stuff and not do it. You know, it just makes. I, I don't want to though. It makes you feel weird inside. You know, and uncomfortable. But if I go about uh, go out in the road with, by myself and uh, and I see drugs around and stuff, then I'll just I'll just get away from it. You know, and or 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 I'll talk to them while they're doing it. You know, and maybe speak live. I don't know, man. It's all good. Whatever. I'm not scared of that stuff anymore. Um, average day I wake up, hang out with my kid, take her to school, and I come back home, I pray, and uh, come down to the offices, work on stuff, music, projects and stuff, and just uh, hang out, and I've been doing a lot of interviews, and uh, you know, instead of doing drugs in the morning, coping with my day like I used to, I get up and I talk to God, and I ask Him to lead my day, and, and He does. So it's pretty cool. I've got a lot of joy in life. Um, no, I don't care. Monkey, we, we, we have similar styles, but different styles. So uh, I think that people can appreciate both things, you know. It's all good. And he's very talented, and uh, people will appreciate both of our talents, I think. So if people are going to compare, you know, that's just... It's, you know, people are people. They're going to do what they want to do. So, whatever. Um, it's just whatever they think, you know. Uh, they're the ones that are carrying the band. You know, I'm not I, I'm not involved at all anymore. They own the band. They do everything. And uh, I kind of wondered about that. Like, maybe they could, you know, put somebody in there. But, uh. You know, it's up to them. It's up to them if they, they're, they're corn, you know, they were there from the beginning and if they want to put them like the guitar players, wherever they want and whatever pleases them, you know. You know, the message is just my life and what I've been through and I just want to share my experiences about how bad drugs got me, man, and I, I didn't think that they'd be able to master me like they did, and they did. They, they became my master, and my, they ruled. They took me away from my daughter. They, they took me my joy away from music. It just, drugs are jacked up, man. And I was the guy that said, "Well, I won't get as bad like those other guys, you know. I'll, I won't let it ruin my life." But I did. I let it ruin my life, and I just want to share about that and get woken up. And and the message I want to share is that. You know, God, God's cool and He changes you on the inside. You could be grimy on the outside. And He just wants to know you and He wants a relationship and He wants to take the stuff out of your life that hurts you and uh, take the stuff that you do like in your life that's good for you and, and make it better. And uh, there's flourish it and give you gifts and stuff. So uh, it's really cool, you know. and. And me leaving corn and stuff was just 
it's just something, something I, I wanted to do, you know, for my daughter and everything. It's not necessarily because, you know, what people think, you know, like, uh, just because you become a Christian, you know, Philly's a Christian and he stayed in corn. It's all good, but it's just that was my personal decision that I made that I felt like I I needed to do and to in order to do this and get my my message out there and I wanted to go do stuff I never did like sing and write songs by myself and do all that stuff. So that's the message I want to put, man. Drugs suck and. God, God rules, man. And he gives you a high, higher than any drug. And uh, that's the message, man. That's it. But I don't want to be preachy about it, too. I just want to share my stuff and what happened, you know. And uh, it's all good. To each their own. And if somebody goes out and parties and drinks and they can keep it under control, that's awesome. I don't look down on people that party at all. And I'm not like a, a Nancy Reagan going, you know, going around saying, don't do this, don't do that, you know, else you're going to become an addict, you know, I'm just saying, sharing what I did, and if you could keep it under control, then you're, you're, uh, you're lucky, and, and be careful, that's all I'm saying, so, well, thanks, you guys, I appreciate it, and, um, hopefully I'll be rocking Poland sometime soon, and, uh, we'll let you know, peace.